Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Divine Empress, and I'm here to do the reading for the collective. Let's see what spirit has to say to the collective today, okay? Let's see what's going on. Spirit, give me what I need. Clear, concise answers for my collective. For the collective, for the collective. Clear, concise answers. I ask for divine protection as I get these messages. All right. All right, here we go. Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna get one more shuffle. Spirit told me one more shuffle. Okay, let's give me one more shuffle. Okay. All right, there we go. I feel better now. Thank you all for the well wishes um, in reference to um, what I've been going through as far as my headaches. Um, there, it's better, okay? I, could, I can't say that much. I am pretty much um, taking it easy, been resting, drinking a lot of water, as I do anyway, and um, inducing some natural herbs and everything so I can figure out what's going on but for the most part i feel better and i really appreciate i really really appreciate it all the um support okay spirit give me what i need clear concise answers all right here we go triumph you got triumph okay and also i wonder you know this is a little sidebar when i'm when i'm reading i'm so sorry that i can't just you know, hold the cards up so everybody can see it all at one time. I just I can't just sit here and just hold one card. Okay, it's, it doesn't work like that. So I get the messages and it, they come fast, so I have to keep it moving because spirit that the downloads come really fast. And if you if you're not a reader, if you, if you're not not a reader, you wouldn't over you you wouldn't understand that, okay? So I just can't hold one card and just so you all can read the cards. And this is just for this is a this this one of the comments that I got. But I will do the best I can. But for the most part, it's, it it doesn't work like that. You got rest and rejuvenate, okay? I do my best to you know let you see rest and rejuvenate, okay? All right, what else, spirit? You have um, trapped in fear, okay? All right, you got positive movement forward. And what else? Oh, you got mental conflict. And I'm gonna get one more. What else here? The waiting game. Okay. All right. So let's see. Um, let's see what spirit is trying to tell us today. Well, what spirit what I'm seeing is this is what I this is what I'm what I'm feeling. Spirit wants wants you to re, uh, get you some rest. Okay, it's time to rest and rejuvenate your body, your mind, and your soul. Why? Because you got a lot of mental conflict that's going on, and this mental conflict is it has you trapped in fear to the point to where you're not making the moves that you need to make. And what 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 spirit is telling you? What spirit is wanting us to know? Not just just when I speak, I'm speaking to me too. What spirit want us to know is the waiting game is over. But you're not gonna be triumphant. You you can't triumph until you get you some rest and get out this mental conflict because you got positive movement forward, but you're trapped in fear. You holding yourself back for no reason, okay? You should not be holding yourself back right now, okay? Get you some rest and rejuvenate. Sometimes we can overwork our, ourselves to the point to where we think that, you know, all is going hard. Oh, I'm chasing the bag. Oh, I'm going for this money, honey. Hmm. 
that's that's what pushes the money away from me okay so you will be successful you will be you definitely will be successful and it will be positive movement forward and the waiting game is over you don't have to wait anymore okay the waiting game is over spirit just wants you to know that the waiting game is over you're gonna have to just take some time and get you some rest so you can rejuvenate yourself so you can feel confident about moving forward okay because you have it right here spirit is letting you know it's positive movement forward okay get out this mental prison this mental prison don't do nothing but hinder your blessings it don't do nothing but hold you back okay and and get out your comfort zones i'm feeling comfort zones now okay get out your comfort zone because these comfort zones don't do nothing but, again comfort zones basically causes mental conflict okay get out these comfort zones it, it, it's so easy to stay in the comfort zone because you got your money flowing everything in your house is good your family's good everything is just flowing but spirit trying to do a new thing and you're gonna have it's, this is triumph you're gonna have the victory okay this is victory okay and they're letting you know that the waiting game is over you don't have to wait anymore okay whatever it is that you're thinking about doing or trying to do you don't have to wait anymore it's here positive movement forward okay all right it will be a success but that mental conflict and that tra trapped in fear that's what's holding you back okay um it says um uh, to help heal the situation um see the other person's point of view with compassion okay so at the bottom of the deck um of the psychic tarot i had emotional withdrawal okay so i don't know what this is in reference to maybe um you, you maybe you have had an argument with someone maybe you had a disagreement who knows but spirit wants you to look at all avenues of this they, they don't want you to just look at your side and just think that it's just for you okay um it's just one way you got to look at both sides okay let's see the spirit want to heal the situation, whatever it is. I do see that much, okay? And as you follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. So spirit wants you to know that as long as you get this rest, once you, once you rejuvenate yourself, it's positive movement forward and the waiting game is over. And you will, again, I'm going to say it again, you're going to be successful. You got to follow the guidance of your heart, though. Get out this, you trapped in fear for no reason, okay? Fear can fear is false evidence appearing appearing real. Fear is fear doesn't exist. Okay? Fear doesn't exist. Fear is what caused this mental conflict. Spirit, what else? For my collective. Okay. Spirit wants you to know that you're at the end of a cycle in your life. And they want you to call upon the angels so they can pretty much comfort you during this time. Okay, so this is giving me the vibe that. Somebody is at an ending of something that really was, that needed to end. And you're stuck in this mental conflict thinking that this is all that's for you. And that's not true. Uh, spirit is letting you know that happiness awaits you now. If you, if you get you some rest and get out this mental conflict and, and, and let, release this fear, they're letting you know that whatever is ending, is, is ending so more happiness can come into your life. Okay. So you don't have to don't, don't sit here and don't sit here and have and sit in something that doesn't that doesn't that's that's done. Don't sit in don't don't be trapped in fear, okay? That trapped in fear uh, have you sitting there for years and years and years, and then you're gonna look back on your life and you'll be like, why in the world did I wait? And I I can think of certain situations now that I wish that I'd never waited on, but I did because I was scared. What is there to be scared of? Fear. No. False evidence appearing real. Okay. So, um, spirit wants you to go ahead and start uh, pretty much diving into your spirituality a little more. Okay. Dive into your spirituality a little more and see what, you know, pray if that's what you do. Meditate. Do what you have to do so spirit can talk to you more. Okay. And spirit wants you to take time out. So, this is resonating with the... Um, this timeout card is resonating with rest and rejuvenate, okay? Time out, okay? You've been busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but it's time to stop and take care of yourself, okay? So now I'm getting it. 
So you've been, you've been diving into everybody else instead of taking care of yourself. And at the bottom of the deck, spirit is letting you know that once you do this, your money is good. Abundance is here. They got, spirit is going to bless you with the money you need. And only God is in control of how that's going to come. People always think that money is coming through jobs and, um, you know, you know, it's, it, money don't just come through jobs, okay? And you got to understand money is a flow, okay? As you flow, your money flow. If you're positive, you're going to have positive results when it comes to you going after your, go, you're not going after or when you attract and manifest your money, okay? And you don't have to worry about anything, okay? You don't, you're not going to have to worry about your money. Everything is going to be just fine, okay? Positive movement forward. The waiting game is over. You've been waiting for something. Something that you've been waiting on is here, okay? It's here. But it, it can't manifest and come to fruition because you're sitting here in this mental conflict and trapped in fear right now. Get you some sleep. I can honestly sit here and say, when you get you some rest, when you take some time out for yourself, you not only rejuvenate your mind, you rejuvenate your whole body. From the hours of 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. in the morning, your whole body rejuvenates itself. New cells are, 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 are um, the old cells are gone and whatever needs healing is you being healed. That is the time to get your rest, to stand up late. And, and, and I know some people have, ins you know, it was that insomnia. Um, yes, I used to have that as well. But at the end of the day, if you find yourself with insomnia, you need to try, try to, you know, put some more activity during your day so you can get tired. You need to get, you need to, you need to work your brain a little more. Something going on where you have to, and some, and I, it's different reasons for insomnia and i get that but i i do know that once i started becoming more active i got more rest but spirit wants you to take the time out and get, do what you need to do as far as your spirituality get you some sleep i'm telling you sleep and resting is rejuvenation for the soul okay don't worry about anything. Your money going to be fine. Spirit is waiting. Spirit, your waiting game is old. I mean, spirit is waiting on you. Just get your get your energy right so spirit can bring this to you. You don't want to bring this good energy in and you're tired and you can't you 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 can't um enjoy your blessing. You can't enjoy your manifestation or your, your what you have attracted, okay? All right, so take some time out. You got to get some rest. I don't know who this is for. Get you some rest. And if you've been crying about something, only thing that's crying in this, this emotional, um, our angel is this our angel is here to let you know if you've been crying, continue to cry. It's purification for the soul, okay? It's helping you heal your emotions because something is going on emotionally right now. And um, this our, um, our angel Michael, he's here. And he's letting you know that he's giving you the courage to move forward. Okay? You got, you, you got all the angels here. Okay? They, they, they're, they're in your corner. They want you to be good. So get you some rest. Okay? Get you some rest. <laughs> Positive movement forward. The waiting game is over. And that's all I'm going to say with that because spirit not said enough. And like I said, if you've been crying, it's okay. Get get it out, okay? So you don't want nothing hindering you, hindering your blessings and you enjoying your blessings because certain emo emotions will have you trapped in fear and, and and have you in mental conflict and keep you up at night. Mm -mm. Let it out so you can get your rest so you can get... Because the waiting game is over. The waiting game is over, honey. I don't know who this is for. The waiting game is over. And the only reason why you're still in this situation is because you got a spirit just letting you know you need to rest. Take some time to get you some rest. Okay, so let's pull some more cards, okay? Let's see what the tarot have to have to say. Now, that was a message in itself, wasn't it, y'all? <laughs> let's see. And whoever going through any kind of heartbreak, I'm so sorry. I get it. Um, it takes time. I know it takes time, but don't don't let it take too much time. Heal, okay? You got you got you got you got the uh, angels around you. They're ready to move you forward, and by moving you forward, baby, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna triumph over all of this, okay? It's gonna be positive movement forward. I like to see that. 
and the waiting game is over. Some of y'all been waiting for a long time for things to, to transpire in your life. And probably that fear and this mental conflict is, is, a, is a byproduct of what you've been thinking um, during this process that you mean, um, you've probably been thinking that it's never going to come. I'm going to forever be in this. It's just seemed like the situation just, just keeping me down or whatever. Mm -mm. It's over now. Yep. It's over. Okay. All right. Here, give me what I need. All right. Let's see what the tarot have to say. Let me gather a little bit of these. Um, I left those down so you all can see them. Okay. All right, give me a second. I love seeing money cards because I do believe that a lot of people are going through some, through some financial situations, okay? All right, so let's see. But you don't have to worry. Okay, so. Y'all, these cards, let's see. Let's do it like this. There we go. Okay, here we go. At the bottom of the deck, you got the King of Wands. Okay, this is... um. Aries Leo Sag. This person is passionate, a little bit domineering. Um, he is a father figure, a, a maybe a father figure. Um, he's good with his wine. I'm definitely going to put that out there. Okay. Um, he gets things done, though. Um, he's very passionate. He's loving. He's caring. But here, trip. <laughs> what else, spirit? Um, yep. You've been stressed out. Somebody been stressed out. Y'all up at night. You got the Nine of Swords here, okay? The Nine of Swords is letting me know that you are worried about something. You're worried about something. Something has is, is really got you um, stressed out at night, okay? This is, this is, this is insomnia. This is anxiety. This is somebody might be dealing with PTSD. Nevertheless, it's okay. It's okay. Everything is going to work out, okay? Um, you got to also know that uh, this is the Nine of Wands, okay? This is the Wounded Warrior, okay? So, yeah, somebody could be dealing with PTSD. Somebody could also be dealing with, they've been going through a lot of conflict, okay? This is the Wounded Warrior. This is somebody who, who, who who's, they've been fighting, somebody been fighting for a long time, okay? This has been a, a long battle for someone to the point to where, again, it has caused it has caused someone to be trapped in fear. Okay, this trapped in fear is because somebody, you know, it's like one minute you get through it one battle and then here go the next one. Okay, but you don't ha you don't have to worry about that anymore. Just get you some sleep. Okay, if you try try to get you some sleep. I know it's hard. Okay, I know it's hard. Okay, and I'm just trying to figure out um, maybe. Let me see. Spirit, give me what I need, okay? Spirit, what is going on with my collective? What is going on with the collective, Spirit? What is going on? Okay, you got the King of Cups. This is somebody that's full of love, okay? This is somebody who don't show their emotions well. However, this person loves deeply. This is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? This person um, stay in their, their emotions a lot, okay? They're very, this person is very emotional, Okay, and not only is this person emotional, they can be kind of, you know, they be, they, they be, in, they, they, they kind of, you know, sometimes they can have a really sharp tongue and one minute they're good and, and everything's flowing. Next minute they're coming out and you're just like, where, where did that come from? Something just come out the blue where they're just so emotional. One minute their emotions are good. Next minute they, they're stretching their head and in their heart to the point to where they say some messed up stuff. And you're just like, where is that coming from? But they don't show their emotions well. Not only that, but they do love you, whoever this person is. I don't know what this is or who, who this is. But somebody been fighting. I don't know if this king of... Yeah, this King of Cups, they're feeling left out in the cold, okay? This person is feeling left out in the cold. Not only is this person feeling left out in the cold, this person need to rejuvenate. This person is, is up all night because it might be something wrong with their money. 
Maybe it's some sneaky energy that came from behind, you know, around, there's some sneaky energy around them, or they might be strategizing, trying to come out this situation. I do know it's some crying going on. It's not, a, somebody's not sleeping. That's why the Nine of Swords is here. And somebody is in a situation where they've been fighting, but it looked like they might be trying to sneak away. Okay, this is some sneaky energy. Okay, the sneaky energy is somebody might be trying to get away from a situation so they can, you know, make things better. And you do remember you got the you got the mental conflict and you got the trapped in fear. Okay, so this by this person being trapped in fear, it lets me know that they've been fighting with someone or some some type type of situation, and this done caused a lot of mental conflict. And they it seemed like I'm picking up the energy that they don't want to mess, they don't want to hurt somebody. But at the end of the day, if you're in a situation like this, you only hurting yourself. Okay, let's see what's going on. Spirit, please give me clear answers. Okay. All right. So I see that uh someone wants to come in with a, an apology. Okay, and you got the devil in it. You got the devil here. This is Capricorn. Okay, you got um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You got Capricorn, and you got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. Oh, and you got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So what I'm picking up with this is th this person. Um, whew, so maybe this person got some addictions. Okay, see, so because you know you got the the, the Seven of Swords. Somebody has some addiction, some obsession, some. A, uh, some a lot of a lot, a lot of it's a lot of devil energy here. Okay, this 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 is this is not cool. Okay, what this is showing me is that this person probably might be dealing with some addictions, maybe. Okay, and maybe these addictions done probably messed up their money, and probably messed maybe done had a lot of you know conflict with family and friends or whatever. But you got the page of cups. The page of cups this person might be wanting to come in with an apology okay or a small cup of love okay whatever this person is going through is giving me a family dynamic for some odd reason okay this person want to come in and apologize okay spirit give me what i need yep this person is all in their head about this apology and coming in okay and they got them up all night because they want to come from feeling left out in the cold okay yes they've been fighting a lot yeah they 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 the wounded warrior okay and it looked like they're gonna probably try to sneak away and come towards you or come towards somebody um yeah they in their head about it let's see spirit give me what i need what else spirit okay yeah they're coming in with a love offer okay yeah they're coming in with a love offer. this is somebody that loves you okay I don't know if you and this person have had an argument or whatever. And somebody decided to leave. But somebody want to come back and give you an apology and a love offer. Because it's a love here. You got the King of Cups. The Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. Mm -hmm. This person want to come in with the apology. And they want to come in fast. But you know... You know, with this night, this night, this person coming in, you know, they come in, they they chatty, they 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 fall in, they fall in love fast, but they already love you, and they in their head about this, they're using their intuition. Okay, this is the high priestess, this is uh Pisces. Okay, all right, spirit, give me what I need. Give me a few more cards. Just let them flow out, spirit. Just let them flow out. There we go. Okay, so we yeah, somebody finna left out in the cold. They're, 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 they have a lot of regrets. I don't know if this is somebody from your past, but this person has a, has a lot of regrets. Of, uh, you know, they're regretful of a situation that they have put themselves in. I think they don't know how to move forward, okay? So that's why they're being sneaky, and they're going to have to sneak away from whatever situation they're in. And this is some real stuff right here, okay? All right, they have a lot of mental conflict, okay? They have a lot of mental conflict or they have conflict around them, okay? All right, but the mental, you know, this conflict, this five of wands is is, is resonating with this mental conflict um, with, the, with the other, that came out with the other cards, okay? But you also have the ace of cups. Whoever this person is, I don't know who this person is. This person absolutely loves you, okay? This person loves you and they want to come in, okay? This is um, 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio again. And then you have um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is a hard worker. They loyal. Okay, they stay in their head a lot now. I ain't gonna lie. But they loyal. They'll be dedicated. They're about their family. They're about taking care of the home. Okay. Right now they're feeling left out in the cold and they have regrets because they left they they left they left you probably for a situation that has really stressed them out and they, they need they need to come out the situation. They're guarded. Okay. They're guarding themselves. They 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 they've been they've been fighting. They're guarding themselves right now. They're trying to figure out what you know how to make make this move. Okay. Yes, they 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 probably trying to sneak away from this situation because it's a lot of crying, a lot of not not sleeping, a lot of mental conflict, a lot of a lot of conflict around them. Okay, and they got them trapped in fear. But this person is ready to come out this energy. Okay, this person been doing a lot of crying at night as well. But the angels are here. Okay, the angels are here. Yeah, the angels are here. And the truth and clarity is that whoever this person is, I told you, whoever this person is, that there was in a, a family dynamic that's not working. It's a family dynamic that pretty much has ended. Okay, it was a lot of temptation. It was a lot of um, uh, probably some addictions, probably some obsession. Probably some, it, it was just not good energy in this relationship, whatever it was, and, and it's over. And that's the truth and clarity of it, okay? Somebody was betrayed, um, but whoever this person is, they're in mental conflict about leaving, and they shouldn't be because in a situation like this, nothing good is going to come from it because it's still sneaky energy around it, okay? All right, this person been fighting a lot. Okay, this person been fighting a battle, one battle after another, and they do feel left out in the cold. They might be feeling left out in the cold that they don't have nobody to help them. Okay, they they probably the type of people that don't, the type of person don't ask for help. Okay, but this person needs to know that spirit is here for them. Okay, the angels are here for them. Spirit wants them to get some rest so they can make the best decision for them. But this is what's going on. This person is going through a major, major ending. They got a lot of fighting going on, a lot of mental conflict going on. And this is just not good energy for this person, okay? This person is very stressed out, very, very, very stressed out, okay? But as I look at these cards, this person is ready to take a leap of faith. Okay, this leap of faith, they, they're coming in to take this risk. Okay, and they've been thinking about coming in to you. Okay, but see, this person probably did some messed up stuff or said some really, you know, probably messed up. the. You know, they're thinking about this offer when they come in because they, they probably said some mean things to you. So they're just trying to figure out how to come and bring this offer to you. But I can say, you got the Page of Cups, you got the Knight of Cups, you got the King of Cups, and you got the Ace of Cups. Darling, that's nothing but love. That's love, okay? That, that's nothing but love. And with that love, I'm so glad that this person has a lot of love for you, okay? This is love. Yeah, this person, this person really loves you, okay? All right, they made a bad decision, and they paying for this bad decision that they made. <laughs> it's it just I'm I'm so sorry that they're going through this, but it's over if they just get out this mental conflict. They are holding themselves back. It's nobody holding them back but themselves. Okay, um, this is letting me know that um, this person uh kind of this person has some domineering energy. Okay, you got the again, you got the emperor. You got the king of wands, and you got the lovers. This person got to make a decision. This person got to make a decision. Are they going to stay trapped in this mental conflict, or are they going to come for their twin flame? This is twin flame energy, okay? This this is your divine, divine, your divine counterpart energy. Yes, this person got some, 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 some tendencies with them. Um, as you see, you got the devil, and you have. Um, the emperor, okay, this person might be a little, little, got some narcissist tendencies, okay, 
Um, what's going to surprise you is this person is going to come in with this new beginning. You got the emperor and you got the emperor and the empress. Okay, this is your divine counterpart. All right, it is what it is, and it's going to shock you when this person come in with all this love. Okay, because they're coming. Okay, I think this person had to reach a peak, and the peak is they had to really really go through some things so they can change okay it's look like this person might be going through the dark night of the soul nevertheless an apology is coming okay this love offer is coming all right this is your divine counterpart and it's gonna shock you when they come in because again this is your divine counterpart so let me get some more um messages real fast i want to um I just want to go a little bit deeper and see if I can get some messages from their heart. But this is, this is, a this is, this, let this person go through what they're going through, okay? They got to make up their mind. If this, this is, you know, if they ready to come out this fear um, and, and this mental conflict, okay? Because as soon as they make, as soon as they make up their mind, as soon as they make up their mind, spirit is ready to go ahead and propel them forward. And they're coming directly towards you, okay? So don't you worry, okay? It's a lot of love here. It's a, a lot of love. One thing I can say, you will have love. You will have loyalty because the King of Pentacles did come out, okay? Um, this person might have heavy earth. They might have heavy... Um, I think they might have a lot, a lot of water in their chart, okay? That's what I'm picking up. It's a lot of water in their chart. And they, they're, they, they're ready, okay? This is somebody who'll be in their emotions. I'm getting moon sign because that's a lot, that's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love, okay? All right? But they a hard worker as well. And they do have some domineering tendencies, but that's okay. All right? But I think they're going to, I think they, they're going to drop some of this stuff that they've been going through, Okay? This is saying um, within a few months, okay? Within a few months, this is going to, within a few months, you should be talking to this person. This person should be pretty much um, coming out of some of this conflict and wanting to move on forward with their life because they're tired, okay? All right? And at the end of the day, they just they just in such an energy to the point to where I think that they need to really, really work on themselves and, and heal and rejuvenate from this situation. So they won't bring any of this energy into this connection when they come to you. And this person, again, mental conflict. I don't know. Okay, just say this is confusion. Okay? This person say I don't know. This person is so confused. They're going through so much, okay? Mental, con mental conflict is real. What else, spirit? All right, defensive. I'm not ready to talk. I will only push you away. See? So you have to give this person time. This person is tired. This person is working hard, probably. This person probably was in a family dynamic, and you got to understand this. When you're in a family dynamic, and that family dynamic is not right, most of the time, and you fighting all the time, and you got to go to work. Listen, that's a heavy load, okay? This person is in some. This person is not in the right energy right now. But give it a few months, they will, okay? Magnet, I keep being drawn back to you, and I quite, can't quite explain why. You can't explain why because um, this person is not really spiritually in tune. Okay, this person may stay in their emotions a lot, but they're not spiritually in tune. Okay, they don't understand the dynamics of divine counterparts and people who, um, and maybe twin flame energy, they probably don't understand that dynamic, but you do. Okay, um, I'm ready to take a leap of faith and risk it all for you. You see that this person is ready, yeah, this person is ready to take a leap of faith. Okay. But they confused. They confused. They all in their thoughts. Okay. I've been in my head constantly. Uh, they've been in their head constantly about you. This is that mental conflict. Okay. All right. This person, this person got a lot of mental. This person stay in their head though. Good gracious. If they could just get out their head, if they could just 
if they could just not overthink everything right now and that's what they're doing they overthinking everything instead of really taking the time out to get some rest okay this person might be worried about what people are gonna think if they leave this family dynamic or if they have already left this family dynamic they're gonna be they're worried about what someone else is gonna what these people are gonna think because they um they're ready to move on okay and the 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 people who in their life who are are in their lives might not accept the fact that they're ready to move on and go to something else but one thing for certain two things for sure this person do love you and within a few months i'm not you know that's the first card that came up came out within a few months you will hear from this person okay you're going to hear from the, if not if not before okay this person, yeah, this person just in their head a lot. And they and they worried about what everybody else going to think, okay? All right, okay. Thinking about you makes me emotional, and I want to open up to you about how I am feeling. This person needs to talk to somebody, okay? This person really need to, need, this person want to talk to you, okay? But they got to get out their head, okay? All right, let's see. And take it how it resonates. This can, this can, you got to reverse the roles, okay? What else, spirit? Spirit, give me what I need. Just a few more messages for the collective. Okay. Okay, this is showing that what has happened in his life, in his or her life with this person who they was with, is over. This is death, okay? The relationship is over. There's no more second chances in that relationship. Um, was dead is dead. It is what it is. Nothing, nothing else is going to come about that relationship. It's over. It's completely over. And the card showed it. The Ten of Swords. Mm-hmm. It's over. Mm-hmm. Paradise. Okay, happiness, enjoy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase. So you will be hearing from this person, but you also got backstabbing, heartbreak, pain, separation, loss, deception, shock, attack. This person was backstabbed. Mm -hmm. This person was backstabbed by somebody they thought had their back. Mm -hmm. This person was backstabbed. And this person, this person put a lot of stock into this relationship they was in. Okay, but this person will be coming towards you. What else, spirit? Give me a few more messages here. Coffin, okay. This is that. Okay, if if you, all I can say is this is this is this is what's going on. This person is in this mental conflict because whatever it is, it is over. Whatever it is, whatever they was in, it's totally over. Okay, they go to coffin. Okay, new beginnings, liberation, reborn, tragic endings. Okay, so you got backstabbing, death, coffin, and then you had the five of pentacles, you had the five of swords, you had the nine of wands, and you had the ten of swords, and you had the ten of pentacles along with the ace of um the ace of swords, which is clarity that whatever they was in is over it's completely over okay and you got coffee cup this person want to meet and talk up with want to talk to you and pretty much want to build a friendship with you first and that's i do recommend that okay but this person got to get out their head this person got to get out their head okay all right and key on ring um uh, many options un unconventional one night stand string along okay so Whoever this person was dealing, whoever this person was dealing with, this person was, whoever that, this person was stringing this person along. Oh yeah, this person was stringing this person along and had more options. And this person, your person thought that this was the, the one. <laughs> this person thought it, they was the one, but also just make sure that when this person do come back make sure that this person not stringing you along okay make sure that this person got your best interest at heart give me one more spirit give me one more you got clock this person say i need time cycles take time time to heal progressing yes this person need time okay this person needs time this person needs time to get out their head and they need to pretty much um, heal, okay? Because whatever this was, it devastated them, okay? All right. And then within a few months, okay, this is the time. All right, this is showing you 
what the time frame is. And that is y'all reading. Okay, this is for the collective. I hope everything works out for your good and in your favor. I know that this person will be coming forward. This mental conflict is something that they're going to have to deal with and they're going to have to get these emotions out. they worried about what the community is going to say or their family is going to say because they are ready to move on. But they they in this conflict, okay, and they're trapped in fear, okay? But don't worry about it. The waiting game is over. Spirit's still dealing with them in a mighty way. So let, let spirit continue to do what they're doing with this person and just expect some messages or this person to come in with a love offer because they do love you. That is y'all reading. I love you so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.